Hello. I'm hoping this works. Um, I'm trying it through YouTube since Panopto doesn't seem to work through Canvas. Uh, this is Warren McLeod. I am the criminal justice, adjunct criminal justice professor here at Grace Harbor College. So this is a, a lecture video, hopefully for week one. It's my introductory video. Um, it's going to be for both of my classes, the CGIS 201 and the Sociology 112. And then from here out, we'll have individual, you'll have your own individual uh, videos. So again, my name's Warren McLeod. I'm the adjunct criminal professor here, criminal justice, um, born and raised in Boston. So you saw that on, on the printed material I put out in the, in the class, but now you get to hear it. Yes, I do park the car. I drink water for a quarter. It's all silly, silly talk. Um, but born and raised in Boston and worked 14 years EMT on the ambulance in the city of Boston. Got tired of the snow and the cold, moved to Las Vegas, I worked for three years in the casino, started as a, an EMT on the security staff and finally got promoted up to investigations. Then I was hired as an investigator with the coroner's office in Las Vegas. Uh, when I say coroner's office in Las Vegas, it's actually Clark County coroner. So it's 8,000 square miles, two and a half million residents and six major cities. Um, and between 30 and 40 million visitors a year. So it's a very active, very active jurisdiction. Um, when I left, it was about 28 people every 24 hours were dying coming to our office. And I believe they're now up to 38, if not 40 a day. Um, did over 6,500 6, death investigations, all types of deaths. Um, so it was, it was a great education. Uh, while I was there, I earned my associate's degree in criminal justice from the community college and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from UNLV and a master's degree in justice administration from Norwich University and a master's degree in political science from American Military University. So I got tired, I got tired, um, you know, got the, the fleet foot. So I, uh, in 2008, I applied to be the criminal justice professor, forensics professor up at South Puget Sound Community College. And I was hired, so I moved up there and I uh, worked as a full-time professor, tenured professor from 2008, the end of 2008, right through um, 2015. Um, in, to, in 2010, my friend, who's the Thurston County coroner, his name's Gary Warnock, he came to me and said, you know, the Lewis County coroner is not running for re-election. Why don't you take his run for his position? So I thought about it and I met with the people here and I was like, yeah, why not? So I did. And in November 2010, I was elected the coroner of Lewis County. So from 2011 through 2014, the coroner was half-time position, which means I was working 80 to 90 hours a week and only getting paid for 20. And because I can't do anything halfway and teaching full-time at the college. In January of 2015, coroner became full-time. And so I went to the SPS and I became what they call an adjunct professor, which is part-time. So I just simply switched. So I'm the full-time coroner in Lewis County. And I'm an adjunct professor at SPS, except as an adjunct, I'm teaching four classes, which is one more than what full-time professors have to teach. So, And then I, uh, starting this quarter, spring of 2020, I am now um, an adjunct criminal justice professor here at Grace Harbor College, teaching this quarter, I'm teaching the, uh, the art of investigations and criminology. So um, kind of a varied background. That's what I like about community colleges, you, they're cheaper to get your first two years of a four-year degree, flexible for your schedule. And a lot of your professors are actually have worked or are working in the fields in which they teach. So I, that's what I like about community colleges. So um, again, by now you should be pretty familiar with Canvas, um, all the icons on the left. If you need to send me an email, please use the icon on the left in Canvas that says inbox, that sends me the email. If you use the regular ghc.edu, I don't check that as often. Um, so um, I don't want people getting stressed. This quarter is all the classes are online. This may be your first online class because of COVID. I don't want you getting stressed over that. We'll get through it together. If you've never taken an online class, relax. Um, there's a lot of workload in this. And it's because for one credit, you have to do, there has to be three 
um, three hours of either instruction or homework or anything like involved for every one credit you take. So three times five is 15 hours. That's why you see a, a reading assignment for every day. Um, I'm having trouble getting the, the video lectures posted. Once I get that fixed, we can adjust some of the work so that what I can try to do is maybe even do a video lecture of like an hour a day, um, record a video lecture, um, and then that would be less actual homework or assignments you have to do. And with this video lecture, you don't have to sit there and stare at me looking into the camera. You can put it on the, turn the volume up, and go wash dishes, let the kids out, feed the dog, beat the dog. Well, don't beat the dog. Um, you may want to check every so often though, because if I do this from home, I have, I, I share my life with uh, two horses, five, five goats, six ducks, five cats and a dog. And I'm on five acres. I usually tell people I'm in a one bedroom condo to see their reaction. But the cats and the dog live in the house. So it's not uncommon. I'll have it on a big table. And I have one cat named Tazan who's famous for walking across the camera. He's even stopped, looked at the camera and meowed and kept going. Uh, one of my students at SPS told me, she's like, oh, my two-year-old loves watching your video. She calls them the kitty videos. <laughs> Welcome to my life. So uh, this is to, just a brief introductory. I'm going to try to see if I can get this to post. If it does, it's going to be the same one for both classes. And then from here on out, we will do individual um, lecture videos for each class. So hopefully this will work. And I'm going to try to figure out how to make this. Oh, end stream. I bet this works. All right, folks. See ya.